Hey guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. We've got a brand new gun and we want to do a first impressions video with you today. This is the Ruger Blackhawk Convertible 357 Magnum version. Um, I believe this gun also comes in a 45 and 45 long colt conversion. This one came with a 9mm uh, cylinder. So you have the ability to switch between 357 and 9mm very quickly and it makes it really nice for training purposes. As you know, if you've been following our channels, I like to focus on 9mm guns. Um, Ryan likes to focus on 45, so it was a nice plus to not have to go and switch ammo all the time. Something that's deterred me from buying a revolver in the past was that 357, 38 Special, um, even 38 ammo is considerably more expensive than 9mm. So by having this conversion, I can practice with my 9mm, and then if I want to buy one box of 357 for defensive stuff or maybe take it into the woods, I can do that too. But I can use the gun still because it's 9mm and it's inexpensive to use. Makes it really nice, guys. So let's talk about some features that this gun has. This is a single action revolver. And what that means is that, um, and actually a lot of the movies that you would see, not western movies, but just everyday movies uh, where you would see them use a revolver, a lot of those are, are double action revolvers. And so you have the ability to engage the cylinder and hammer by pulling on the trigger. Now if you do that with this gun, you pull the trigger and nothing happens. It's single action, meaning that you have to cock the hammer before you can engage the weapon. Um, this is very similar to what the old western guns were. They were most of them were single action. When you saw Clint Eastwood flip through, and he's, he's flipping the, the hammer, um, that is a single action gun, not double action. Uh, other than that, because it is chambered in the 357 Magnum and has that extra cylinder, you have a little pin here. Uh, if you push on this button here next to the cylinder, you can pull the pin out, open up this gate over here, I believe it's a uh, loading gate. Um, you flip that down, once you that pin's pulled out, the cylinder just drops out, you would then replace it with the 9mm one, and then push this pin all the way back in. Um, I may do a video showing you guys that in the future, because sometimes this pin is really hard to get out. I'll, I'll just be honest with you. It is very tight, and it's holding in this, and sometimes you have to kind of pry it out. Um, I've had to use um, like a little flathead screwdriver or something like that in the past, I'll almost try to pry it out. Um, you want to be very careful not to mar the gun or the finish. And once you do get it out, I recommend putting some type of a grease or oil on there to make it easier in the future. Um, it does have the ability to load and unload, um, but as you know, it's not as easy as just flipping the little button here and having the, the whole cylinder come out like a standard double action, single action version would. You have a spring assist here, and what you would do is you would put the cylinder accordingly, and you would use that spring assist to push and as you guys can see it comes out and it pushes the cartridge out or I'm sorry, it pushes the, uh, the, the spent, empty the spent, spent cartridge casing. the spent casing out um, so for loading what you would do is just cycle through load the rounds so it's going to slow you down if you're a person who likes to load really fast, put rounds down range fast and then put the gun down, drop the mag you can't really do that with this gun it makes you take your time now, I really kind of like that because I am one of those guys that wants to get down and shoot and I'll, I'll go through a box of, of 50 rounds in... Five minutes? Three minutes. <laughs> so, so like, I mean, when I'm really going at it. So this makes me slow down a little bit more. Um, it makes me think about what I'm doing a little bit more. Um, and it, it's kind of nice. Now, this is not how the standard Blackhawk comes, guys. This one is wearing a Hogue grip on there. I did put this on its aftermarket grip, runs around 25 bucks, somewhere around there. I was disappointed when I got the gun because it came with these really cheap Ruger plastic grips. And if you're familiar with any of these, you'll know the grips are usually really thin. So I didn't, I'm not really used to that thin type of grip. And for me personally, I wanted a little bit more heft. I put on the hoe grips, not only because they're a little bit thicker and stuff, they're also very ergonomic, it gives you a place for your fingers, and they feel really nice. Uh, I am disappointed that Ruger does not give you rosewood grips or something like that that they choose to put plastic when you consider that these guns run around 500 bucks. I looked everywhere in our area, I was able to find the convertible in Sportsman's Warehouse and it ran me about $530. Um, I have seen them for a little bit cheaper running around 500 even, 
So make sure that you shop around if you're interested in one of these. Um, as far as testing goes, Ryan and I will be taking this gun to the range. It does have adjustable sights. Um, and so guys, what we will be doing is we'll be doing some accuracy testing with it. We'll be playing with the 357 round, and then we'll show you how well the gun works with the 9mm. Um, other than that, I am really excited to get this gun out and about, and I cannot wait to put some rounds down range. So if you have any questions regarding the Ruger Blackhawk, feel free to ask. Uh, remember, this is the Blackhawk Convertible 357 slash 9mm, and uh, in the future, we're going to try to get our hands on the 45 and 45 Long Colt version. So, other than that, this is Chad from CNR Reviews. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and have a good day.